Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, the Buanas, the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, and sincerity. All right, I want to get into a uh, quick lesson, you know, just based upon um, prayer and humility, you know, which are two very, very uh, important and very big attributes, you know, uh, in which we need not only, you know, uh, in our day uh, today, you know, uh, just overall, man, you know, prayer, because first and foremost, we know that prayer is going to, you know, uh, help to build that relationship in which we have with the Most High, you know, so that we could call upon him and he's familiar with our voice. And humility, you know, that just goes uh, so many different ways, man. You know, as far as how you're dealing with people, uh, dealing with the brotherhood, and, and having a mindset to, to be corrected, you know, uh, if need be or when need be, you know. And um, matter of fact, because, uh, yeah, because there's just certain attributes, you know, which are, um, which naturally pertain to a man of the hopeful elect, you know, and this made me think of, uh, I believe this year, Colossians 3, is it, Slokia? yeah, Colossians 3 and um, 12, it says, put on therefore as the elect of the Most High, so, you know, these are some uh, characteristics of what the elect will have, you know, about themselves or how they carry themselves you know that's that that you know when you when you uh around a certain person it's just certain things about them certain things about that person you know that just speak to you and that the attributes that the characteristics of that person that just speaks to you you know so these are the things that the elect has is going to speak you know to other people when they're dealing with you know, uh, men of the hopeful elect, right? Uh, put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, you know, uh, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shah forgave. Uh, you so also do ye and above all these things put on charity you know which is love basically which is the bond of perfectness and let the peace of Yahweh rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful let the word of Yahweh Shah dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Okay? So, all of these different things, what the, the, the charity, you know, which is the perfect bond of peace, you know, uh, for, forgiveness, long-suffering, meekness, humbleness of mind, you know, uh, all these different things are characteristics that the elect will have, that they will carry about with themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, that's not to say that, you know, if, course you know that you're going to be completely perfect or anything like that but you you get the drift you know what i'm saying these are very important characteristics that men of the elect will have about themselves man you know and being and constantly being mindful of uh their walk you know and, and how they walk and, and how they're being perceived by those that are around them that actually mean something to them you know and um that made me think of uh damn sorry. <clears throat> yeah real quick uh, uh Ephesians 5 and 15 see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is and be not drunk with the wine wherein in excess, but be filled uh, with the spirit. So even getting into this, you know, we always touch on, you know, being circumspect as far as, you know, uh, 
current events and you know different things that's going on in the world and and, and stuff like that you know but uh being circumspect also applies just to you as an individual it applies to me as an individual you know and and making sure that on a daily basis what we're uh practicing what we preach so to speak you know that we're uh doing our best to actually live up you know, uh, uh, to standards in which the Lord has set for us and standards that we should have for ourselves, you know, as individuals and knowing the talents uh, in which we have, knowing uh, uh, the character about ourselves in which we have, knowing the growing uh, that we have, knowing the, the growth that we have come to and knowing the growth that we will uh, continue to need, you know, uh, to be considered in the Lord's eyes, you know. And, and to actually be a just man, you know, it, it requires a lot, man, you know, and, and all of that has to be shown what through your actions and through us being truly circumspect of ourselves. And we attain a, a lot of these attributes, what by prayer first and foremost. OK, so this is uh, one of my favorite scriptures on prayer that I always uh, bring out, you know, so Philippians four and six and it says, uh, <clears throat> Uh, be careful for nothing, but in everything, okay, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Mosah. And the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shah. Okay, so this is what is going to keep our mind intact, man. You know, that we're not hesitating to pray unto the Most High for whatever little things it is that we may need that the Most High, you know, uh, allows the, his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to constantly flow through us, you know, that we're in check, that we're in line, you know, that we're, we're doing what we need to do in the Lord, you know, that we're watching our walk, that we're not making little dumbass mistakes like that worldly people would make you know and actually uh, uh doing things in a righteous in the most righteous manner possible you know and this is how the lord keeps our minds by us communicating with him you know and us leaning upon him for the understanding and knowing that we don't know anything and that we lean, need to lean upon the lord for everything because he is the he uh, he put us in the situation, and only he can get us out of this situation. You know how? Uh, 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 damn, I lost the train of thought. But you know, um, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, going back, yeah, it's like I'm tired. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> yeah. What was it? yeah? Okay, yeah. I wanted to go to um. Book of Sirach, um, 35. And, um, I'm going to start at, uh, hey, verse 16. All right, and it says, uh, He that serves the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds. You know, so as we analyze what uh, uh, these scriptures, I ain't even finished 17 yet, but what? Prayer, we see prayer and, and humble, you know? So we know that these things have to go hand in hand. It's a, it's a, it's a one-two combo punch, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a knock them out the box punch real quick. Hit them with a quick one-two. You know what I'm saying? The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds until it come not, he will not be comforted. And will not depart till the 